Number 27, left fielder, Chris Flynn. Now it's a bat, number 27, Flynn. Where is safe at first? Which is a bunt, it's a foul. Pitch, another bunt, strike. Oh, ball, my apologies. No runs, no hits, no runners left on base. Count is 2 1, zero outs. Air at first. Runner safe at second. Pitch, another bunt. Called foul. This pitch is ball three, making it full count. Swing and a miss. There's one out for the Hawks. Up to bat, number two, Morin. Pitch is straight. <laughs> Next pitch is a ball. Contact, foul ball, strike two. This bitch is a hit the third. Good hit. Running around in third. Safe at home. The Hawks score to make it 1 0. Runner safe at second. Now batting, designated player number eight, Morgan Rodriguez. Off to bat next. Number three, Camelo.
Sorry about that. Number one, Camelo, not number three. Pitches contact, strike two. Strike is a ball. Oh, sorry, he's out. Not a ball. That is two outs for the Hawks. Up to bat number 17, Hibbert. Now batting right field, number four, Carissa Miller. First, first ball is a straight. Second pitch low, ball one. Third pitch is a ball. You can get ball two. No runs, one hit, one hitter run on one runner left on base. Hit to the right as a foul. Is hit to the right field, and it is caught to end the inning with the Hawks up 1-0. Sports fans, get ready for game day with officially licensed merchandise from the NCAA official online shop, ncaa.com slash shop. Get the whole family geared up with the best collection of apparel and accessories, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, headwear, championship gear, and more. Visit the NCAA shop for today's special offer and rep your favorite team now, only at ncaa.com slash shop. Our campus can get pretty quiet during the summer when most students are home, but that doesn't mean it's completely empty. Students are working and learning here year-round. There's tour guides and student workers like me, and students are interning all over the Monadnock region. Many of our majors require hands-on learning, and our students are working as reporters, videographers, environmental advocates, and scientific researchers to gain experience. Here's a look at what's happening right here in our city this summer. Pitching for the Hawks, number 48, Quinlan. And first up to bat for the Keene State Owls, number 16, Ellers. First ball was a strike. Strike two for Tommy Ehlers. Here's a ball. It's 
is a hit to left. And it is caught. That one got some air time, huh? Oh, absolutely. Next up to bat for the Owls, number 25, Ian. Good hit from Tommy. Does a hit to the right as a foul ball. Which is a strike. Strike two. I thought that was a little far out, but I'm just got better vision than me. It's strike three. Two outs for the Owls. Out to bat for the Owls, number 23, Chatfield. Designated hitter for the night. Or afternoon, I should say. Great hit. He is out at first. The end of the first, the Hawks are up 1 0 against the Keen State Owls. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. This is your ticket to the NCAA tournament. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. College sports fans, get ready for game day with officially licensed merchandise from the NCAA official online shop, ncaa.com slash shop. Get the whole family geared up with the best collection of apparel and accessories, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, headwear, championship gear, and more. Visit the NCAA shop for today's special offer and rep your favorite team now, only at ncaa.com slash shop. The plate. Designated hitter, 34, Rory Lynch. Hitting for the Hawks, number 30, 34, Lynch. Pitch number one. This is a strike. Strike one. Now batting, first base, number 21, Samara Rido. Second pitch. Low ball. Low ball two. Hit to the right. That is a foul. Strike two on contact. Ball three, full count. It is hit. Grounded out to left field. Runner safe at first. Mm -hmm. 
Now batting, shortstop, number nine, Alexis Rogers. Up to bat 13, Folan. Hi, ball one. One is hit to the middle. Stop by second. Runner out of second. Oh. Oh. Air at first. Runner is safe at second. Round rule double, I believe. Up to bat for the Hawks, number five, Sheehan. Pitch is a strike. Second ball, far right. Ball. Pitch. Strike two. Now batting, designated player number four, Madison Gold. And that pitch is a ball. Pitch is contact up, foul. This is more contact up, another foul ball. Is a hit to the left. Is out. That is a foul ball. At the end of the top of the third, two runs, one hit, one error, and two runners on base. Okay. Pitch is hit to the left. Another foul ball. Number five is just looking to straighten it out. He's been hitting that left side though. Maybe we could see him get it to left field. He has been making good contact though. Absolutely. He's not waiting for a pitch. Ball three. Ball is up. Ball three making a full count. Batter hit by a pitch. We have runner on first and second for the Hawks. Up to bat number 12, Urati. First pitch is a strike. And that is a foul, strike two. I just don't know how to clear 
in that box scoreboard. I have to make it go back from show to. Is a hit to the right. That is a foul ball. This pitch is a ball. 2-2 two, two on the count. Or 2-1, my apologies. Which is a hit to the left. Left field, hit right defense. the fence. All righty. One runner hit home. Runners on third and second. Up to bat number 10. Back up to the top of the lineup, Callie. That run makes it 2-0 for the Hawks. And that's the that's that left field hit that other player was looking for. Oh yeah. Hawks have one out. Two players on base. Which is a ball low. Pitch is a hit down Oof. contact. Looks like his ankle there. That is strike number one. And let's see. I want to say catcher, catcher and hitter are brothers. To the right, that is a foul ball. Yep. That's right, we two we do have two brothers playing each other today. I do believe that is them right there. Yep. Callie who is a sophomore on Keen, his brother who's a junior on the Hawks. This pitch is a hit to the middle. Right down the middle, looking for the center fielder. Caught by center field, bombed in. Runner advances to home base, Runner's third safety. and second. Out at second. <laughs> yes, runner out of second, but incredible hit. Right around our home to Absolutely. put the Hawks up 3-0 early in the second inning. Yeah, great RBI by Callie. Up to bat for the Hawks, number 27, Flynn. She pitches the ball, it's low. Second ball, low again. It's hit up to the left. That is a foul ball. Strike one. Another hit. Back, contact. That was a foul ball. Strike two. Okay. 
27's hearing the love from his team, for sure. As to the left, that is a another foul ball. Count is 2-2. Two, two. Is hit to the right, foul ball. Now batting left field, number 32, Grace Wallace. Who's on left field? Yeah. Pitch is mm. hit by the pitch. Up to bat for the Hawks, okay. number two, Morin. Runners on first and third. Two outs, top of the second. It is high, close up. Foul ball, uh, ball, sorry. Ball number one. Pitch is hit to the left. And it is caught. Third out. Out number three. In between second inning, score is 3-0 Hawks. National Championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. This is your ticket to the NCAA tournament. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. I believe sportsmanship is a, it's a mutual admiration and respect for your fellow competitors. We all go through a lot to reach the point where we compete against one another. It's important to realize that. So once we're finally on the field or on the court or on the starting block, we look at each other as fellow human beings and not just competitors. Being able to recognize the hard work that other athletes are putting in creates a more positive and inclusive environment. Alrighty, up to bat for the Owls. Yeah. Can't see his number at the moment. Strike number one. Mm -mm. Alrighty. Hit to the left. Rounding first. Back to first. Runner is safe at first. Good hit. That was number 37, Zena. He is safe on first, up to bat for the Owls, number one. Zena currently has the most home runs for the team right now with three on the season. 
Number one, Barnes. I wanted to get that pronunciation right. I didn't see it. <laughs> Looks a little funny on here, but number one, Barnes. It is a hit to the right. That is a foul ball. Strike one. Which is a hit to the right. Right pass. Patched by second. Oh. Zena around second. Oh. Zena is safe at third. Safe at third. Runner safe at first. Runners at first and third. That was a fast one. At right the down. bat is number 12, McHugh. Foul, slow. Not foul. Ball, sorry. Not foul. Excuse me. Almost got a touch on it. It looked like it. <laughs> oh. Pitcher throws to first, trying to get that runner out. Safe. But he is safe. <laughs> it's a pitch. It's a hit. It's behind. It's a foul ball. Strike number two. First again, runner is safe. Ball is right. There's ball number two. Count of two and two. Zero outs. Runners at first and third. Is hit. Up to the right. That is a foul ball. Is left. Ball number three, full count. Ball was inside. Good spin away by McHugh, though. Ball is hit down the middle. King Zena State safe at scores. home. Runner safe at third and first. That puts the deficit down to two, putting the Hawks up three to one. Great hit by McHugh. Up to bat for the Owls, number 20, Luke's. Lucas. Is strike number two. Swing low, ball number one. 
fine. That's a What's the last part? As I see space what? Number number space S A C space B U. Thank you. Does someone do that? It is hit to the left. Now Runner safe at home. And then Lucas is out at first. McHugh safe at second. Brings a deficit down to one. Score is now 3 2 Hawks. Keen come back a little bit here. One out on the board. It's a great start for the Owls. Up to bat now. Number 10, Verano. Pitches a strike, strike one. Contact, foul ball, strike two. Inside is ball number one. Ooh, great hit to right. And oh. it's caught. Caught by the right fielder. Under the third, he is safe at third. Two outs for Keene, runner at third. Up to bat for the Owls, number 11, Callie. Which is strike one. Strike two. Owls are looking. Oh, Owls are looking to tie the game with that runner on third. Looking for a good hit from number eleven. As ball number two passes by low. Touch round is a foul ball. So is to the right. Runner is out on first to end the second inning. Scores 3-2 Hawks. If you're not here for Fandom 101, you're in the wrong class. Here we learn the fundamentals of fanology, the basics of bringing the noise, and the physics of freaking out. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA Championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. College sports fans, get ready for game day with officially licensed merchandise from the NCAA official online shop, NCAA.com slash shop. Get the whole family geared up with the best collection of apparel and accessories, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, headwear, championship gear, and more. Visit the NCAA shop for today's special offer and rep your favorite team now, only at NCAA.com slash shop.
Up to bat for the Hawks, number one, Camilo. Top of the third. Pitch is strike one. Hit to the right, that is a foul ball. Strike number two. This pitch is a swing and a miss, that is strike number three. One out for the Hawks. Up to bat, number 17, Hibbard. One hit, one error, and two left on base. Sorry, Marty, what were you saying? It's just like a misty. That is a ball. So who are we starting off with now? Pitch is inside, ball number two. Pitch is a swing and a hit. To the right, that is a foul ball. Strike number one. Straight down the middle for strike number two. This pitch is low. That is ball number three to make it full count. Is hit to third. Bombs into first. Caught runner out at first. Two outs for the Hawks. Up to bat for the Hawks, number 34, Lynch. No runners on base for the Hawks right now. Straight down the middle for strike number one. Now batting, pitcher number 17, Lila Deming. It's low, ball one. Down the middle, hit to the left. Back to the third baseman. Thrown to first. first. Out at, out at is first. The, this is the last out. That is out number three. Score currently is 3 2 Hawks. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. Let's turn this music on. We still dance. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports.
Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Keene Auto Body, located at 543 Main Street in Keene. Your collision specialist since 1928. That's about for the Owls, number 16, Taylors. Who's out at first? Out at first. Next for the Owls, number 25, Ian. Eaton and Ehlers have both been great at bat this year. Eaton currently hitting a 388. First pitch, right down the middle. Save that first. Number 23, Jonathan Chatfield up to bat. Right down the middle, strike one. Low again, there's a ball number two. Is ball number three. Runner steps out of the box, or batter steps out of the box. Strike number two, bring it to full count. Runner at first, one out. Pitch is down the middle, hit to the middle. Shortstop miss it. Runner safe at second, runner safe at first. Makes contact, goes behind, that is strike number one, foul ball. Is outside, I believe, for ball number one. Strike number two. It's high. That is ball number two. Pitch. They wanted it out for a swing, but they called it no swing. Ball number three. Full 
Eric's got two. No, no, no errors, and then one left on base. Brothers on first and second. Looking to bring them in. Uh, we need against the Hawks. So three, two, for the score. And it is hit to the left. Pass third. Runner rounding third. Runner is safe. Tie the game up. It's a great hit by Zena. Score is now 3-3. All tied up between the Keene State Owls and the Roger Williams Hawks. Gesher wants to have a word with the pitcher. Owls is going to be number one, Barnes. I'd say this is definitely a different game than the Hawks thought was going to happen compared to the last few matches. Yeah, so they've been very dominant in their six game win streak that they currently have going on right now. History with these two is a lot of wins for 06, 07. That is contact behind as a foul ball for strike one. Hit down the middle. Shortstop misses it. Runner safe at third. Base is loaded. One out for the Owls. Talking to the shortstop. Everything looks to be all good. Looks like ball number one. Strike number one. Strike number two. Swing and a miss. Hit up. Foul ball. Is safe at third. Base is still loaded. Is outside. That's a ball. Count is now two two.
high. Ball number three, full count. For sure, they've come back from the 3 0 deficit. Pitch is high as ball number four. Runner scores with the Keen Owls up 4 3. Looks like they're switching out the pitcher. Already number 48, Quinlan is out of the game. They're bringing in, looks like, first baseman. The Keene College Athletic Department and the Owls Media Network would like to thank our community partners. Bulldog Design, get it local, get it Bulldog. CNW Services, an industry leader in facility service capabilities. Ingleworth Construction, we build relationships for life, celebrating over 50 years of service. The offices of Eli Thayer at Edward Jones. Keen Auto Body, your collision specialist since 1928. The Melanson Company, commercial and residential roofing since 1932. And the New Hampshire Army National Guard. Visit nationalguard.com slash nh. Seating for our VAP game. For our VIP game day couch has been provided by family-owned Frazier & Son Furniture. Visit the giant showroom on Route 32 in Swansea, one mile south of the Keene Airport. Thank you, guys. College sports fans, get ready for game day with officially licensed merchandise from the NCAA official online shop, ncaa.com slash shop. Get the whole family geared up with the best collection of apparel and accessories, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, headwear, championship gear, and more. Visit the NCAA shop for today's special offer and rep your favorite team now. Only at NCAA.com slash shop. is outside, ball number one. Base is still loaded in this game. Keen is leading 4-3, one out. And up to bat right now for the Owls is number 20, Lucas. Good swing, miss, strike number one. have taken over the lead for three. That ball was a little high. Ball two. One strike. They hit to the left. That is a foul ball. Strike number two. He is looking for contact. Current count is 2-2, two, two, one out. Pitch, it's a hit, that is up. It's another foul ball. Is 
Falls outside for ball number three, full count. A lot of noise from the owls dug out. Pitch. Ooh. That is, he is out. Strike out for number 20, Lucas. Out number two for the owls. Base is loaded. They've scored two runs this inning. They've come back from the 3-0 deficit to put themselves up 4-3. to three. Up to bat number 10, Barano. Which is a great oh, hit right down the middle. That is He's dropped. dropped by center fielder. Players rounding third. All right. Three run to put us to put the Key State Owls up 7-3. Great hit by Barano. Barano is safe at second. That was a great hit. Error on center fielder. Thought he had that there. I mean, starting to rain a bit harder. That ball could be wet. Glove could be wet. Yeah. Rain in his eye. Not the best weather right now. But definitely a great hit from Barano. Yeah. Next up for the Owls is number 11, Callie. It feels like it's been going on forever now. I know. His brother's catching for the Hawks. Which is strike number one. A pitch that is... I can't tell if he made contact on that one at all. I think he called that a strike. That is strike number two. This pitch is outside. That is ball number one. I'm a lefty batter. I'm actually a lefty myself. Pitch. That is a foul ball. Made some contact on that one. Runner at second. Two outs for the Owls. Current count is 2 1. 1 2, sorry. Okay, hit to the left. It's and it hits the ground. There we go. Rhino safe at home. Put the Owls up 8-3 to three at the bottom of the third. Cali is safe at second. That left fielder is pushing it out there. Just could not get a hand on it. Up to bat for the Keene State Owls is number 16, Tommy Allers. Back to the top of the line. Oilers. First pitch. He is hit by the pitch. Walks the first. Runner is safe at first and second. Look at the bat is Brandon Eaton. Number 25, Brandon Eaton. It's at a strike number one. It says strike number two, right down the middle.
He hits it to the left. Scooped up. Ailers. Runner is out at second. Ailers is out at second. As the Owls third out. Great inning for the Owls. Got six points, putting them about eight to three at the bottom of the third. Great inning for the Owls. Responsibility is being accountable for your words and actions, first and foremost. It also is an obligation to be a positive influence in the communities around you. Being in a D3 program, you're going to have lots of different opportunities. You're not just an athlete, you're also involved in student life. Your academics are extremely important. We give a lot of our student athletes responsibilities right from the start by giving them leadership opportunities, by having them engage in the community, be a positive influence. That's being a responsible person. Up to bat for the Hawks is number 13, Dennis Fulham. This hit is up to the left. That is a foul ball. Pitch that is low. That is ball number one. Swing and a miss for strike number two. Pitch. Another swing and a miss. For sh oh, I guess he made contact. Sorry about that. Count is one, two. Zero outs. And it's outside for ball number two. Swing and a miss for out number one for the Hawks. Up to bat now, number five, Nick Sheenan. Now batting, pitcher number 17, Lyle Deming. Pitch is a bunt to the left. Running. He is out at first. Great throw to first. Nice fast reaction time from Keane. Pitch number two 
is strike number two. Two outs for the Hawks. It's a short. First uh, beams in the first. And runner is out at first for out number three. Yes, they did. I will stay up eight to three halfway through the fourth. I learned a lot of valuable lessons playing college football. I never thought about the health benefits of exercise until I actually started to talk to coaches in college. It's not only just for performance, it's for life. My coaches instilled the importance of well-being, not only building up strength, mental health, getting enough sleep, eating properly, it's all what it is to be healthy. I decided that I want to go into personal trainer and share my knowledge that I obtained in college about physical and mental well-being. Pitching change for the Hawks, number 43, Dennis Powers, or Danny Powers, excuse me. And up to bat for the Owls is going to be number 23, Chatfield. First strike is outside, that is a ball. Ball number one. Next pitch is low, that is ball number two. Is a swing and a miss for strike number one. Strike number two, low. This is ball number three. Pitch chatty, bombs into the middle. It's gonna be safe on first. Safe on first. That went right over the pitcher's head. Up to bat for the Owls is gonna be number 12. No, it's not. <laughs> Up to bat for the Owls is gonna be number 37, Zena. That one is high for ball number one. Next pitch is low for ball number two. Wait, 
Up. Xenomix contact. That ball is up behind the plate. Caught, Caught by, by the, the catcher. catcher. He's out. Good eye from number 10 from the Hawks, Callie. Runner on first is the field. Next for the Hawks is going to be number one, Barnes. Sorry about that. Per first pitch is a strike. Pitch that one is low. Runner, Runner advances to second base. Sheffield stole second. Count is 1-1. One, one. Pitch that is outside for ball number two. Pals are looking for another inning like the bottom of the third. Got six runs in. Give them a considerable lead. Inside for ball number three. Strike number two for full count. That is a swing and a miss for out number two for the Owls. Next up to that, number 12, thank you. One is outside for ball number one. Hit to the right. It is caught. It's out number three for the Owls. Owls are still up. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org. I worked in HVAC when I was in high school and I really liked being on a job site. When Keene State came to my high school, the admissions counselor told me I could have a job on a job site and also make a difference on people's lives. He said being a safety engineer meant I could work with my hands, but also make sure that everybody was going to be home safely at the end of the day. The safety field is growing rapidly because companies are noticing that keeping their workers healthy means that they can keep their workers working. My plan is to graduate from Keene State so I can get back onto a job site as a safety engineer. It's great because there's jobs to choose from all over the United States, so I can basically go anywhere I want. Keene State is giving me the tools to make that happen.
Devils are switching their pitcher. We have number 17, Dylan Ellison, pitching. Warming up a little bit. Weather's not permitting too great, but get someone come out and fix home plate for the players. to bat for the Hawks is going to be number 10, Ty Cowley. New pitch on the mound, first pitch, and That's strike good. number one. It's a good one right down the middle. Pitch is strike number two. Did not like that call from the ump, saying that was a little low. Pitch outside for ball number one. Side, ball number two. Even out the count at 2-2. Two, two. Pitch is off on contact, foul ball. for ball number three, full count. Pitch, inside for ball number four. As they walk. Callie advances to first base for that walk. Up to bat for the Hawks is gonna be 27, Flynn. Christopher Flynn. Swing and a miss for strike number one. This pitch is contact, foul ball, strike number two. or low, sorry, for ball number one. It's a swing and a miss for strike number three. It's one out for the Hawks. Up to bat for the Hawks is going to be number two, Jack Morin. Pitch that is contact, foul ball, strike number one. Strike number two. Or strike number one, sorry. Pitch that is a hit 
Down the left. left and right. that is at the fence. The field bombs it in. Runner rounding third. Runner is safe at third, safe at second. Great hit from the Hawks. One dipped right over the left fielder's head. Up for the Hawks is going to be number one, Camelo. Pitch that is up for ball number one. Next pitch. That is hit to the right. He reached out for that one. That is going to go right to the That is caught. Right fielder. Runner and safe at home. Put the Hawks up one to make the score eight to four. Owls. Runner still at second. Two outs for the Hawks. Up for the Hawks is going to be number 17, Owen Hibbard. It's going to be a strike. Good for strike one. Foul ball. One. Strike number two. Two outs for the Hawk in the top of the fifth. Is outside for ball number one. Strike number three. Drop ball steal from first, the and he is out. It's going to end up top of the fifth for the Hawks. Your score will be eight to four, Owls. Being a part of the different activities and organizations that I've been a part of. I'm actually able to see myself where I'm like, hey, I actually can make a change. I'm one person that can make a difference. Division three has helped me to develop teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, time management skills. It's not just about basketball or it's not just about school. It's about developing yourself as a person altogether.
to bat for the King State Owls is going to be number two. Gonna be number twenty. That is a hit through the middle. Looking to be caught by the center fielder. It is caught. Is. Runner is out. Definitely got a good reach on it. He was looking to get that maybe down in the hole a little bit more. Yeah. Next up, like starting to come down pretty good right now. Next up for the Owls is gonna be number ten, Barano. Rano's had a great hitting game so far this game. High ball there. First ball. One out. That is a good hit down that the middle. Is again, right to the center fielder. Top of center field again. It's two outs for the Owls. That number eleven. Pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike number one. He saw something good on that one. It was a good pitch. It was a good pitch. <laughs> this pitch. That is a bunt miss. Strike number two. Hit to the right, that is a foul ball. Count of 0-2. Two. two outs, no runners on base. Is a hit to the pitcher. Oh, no one's Nobody first. was on first. Safe. Runner safe at first base. Some miscommunication there, the Hawks. Next for the Keen State Owls is going to be number 16, Tommy Ehlers. Great running by Callie there. Absolutely. He dug that one out. Also, great run to the ball by the pitcher. Too bad. A little miscommunication at first there. Produce. First pitch is outside for ball number one. Pitch that is a hit. Ehlers hits to the left. It is caught for out number three. This is the bottom of the fifth. Your score is eight to four Owls. Attention, welcome to Fandom 101. We'll cover the tools of the trade from foam fingers in the wave to the super secret wave. How's that for a course description? Lesson one, your game starts long before the opening whistle, so arrive prepared. Two, if something piques your interest, raise your hand. And three, work in groups. NCAA championships, attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dis- If you're not here for Fandom 101, you're in the wrong class. Here, we learn the fundamentals of fanology, the basics of bringing the noise, and the physics of bringing it up. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed.
up to bat for the Hawks. It's gonna be number 34, Lynch. Getting of the sixth inning. First pitch that is strike number one. Number two, that is low, that is ball number one. Next pitch is strike number two, swing and a miss. Ball number two, low. Count is 2-2, two, two, zero outs. There's a swing down to the left. Toss it in, runner safe at first. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Keen Auto Body, located at 543 Main Street in Keen, your collision specialist since 1928. And up to bat for Roger William Hawks is going to be number 13, Fuller. High ball there. Runner at first. Hawks just looking to catch up here. I lift to the four right now. That is a outside for ball number two. Third pitch, that is strike number one. Looks like the batter wanted his recall. There's a hit, foul ball, went behind him. Strike number two. Strike number three off a swing and a miss. There's one out for the Hawks. And next up for the Hawks is going to be number five, Nick Sheehan. Still a runner on first. That is hit behind him. That is a foul ball for strike number one. A strike number two. He's out for strike number three. That is out number two for the Hawks. Runner still at first. Next up to bat is going to be number 12. Mike Brady. Girardi. Strike number one. Looks like number 17 for the Owls is really zoning in here, wanting to keep that gap pretty far from the Hawks. In the middle for strike number two. His last few pitches have been solid. He's really finding that sweet spot there. He's been on fire. Nelson's had some great pitching this game so far. Quick look at first base. 
That it's is a swing, swing and a miss. miss. Drop ball. The steal first. He's out at first for out number three for the Hawks. It is the end of the top of the sixth with your score being eight to four, the Owls. It's always been more than just a game. It is a legacy. Support the USA Basketball Foundation as we look to expand that legacy. For her, for them, for us, all of us, together. Pitch is a strike or a ball, sorry. Pitch that's low as for ball number two. With the bat is number 25, Eaton. This pitch is strike number one. Pitch. Hit to the left. That is a foul ball for strike number two. Pitch. That is ball number three to make it full count. Pitch. Eaton bombs to the left. <laughs> Rounding first. He is safe at first. Next up to bat is number 23, designated hitter, Jonathan Chatfield. Had a good hit earlier this game. First pitch is outside for ball number one. That is high for ball number two. Side, ball number three. Pitch, that is strike number one. Make the count three one. That is hit to the right. That is a foul ball for strike number two, full count. Next pitch that is inside for ball number four. So walk for Chatfield, two runners on base, first and second. Zero outs for the Owls. To bat. Shay Zena, number 37. Yep. Yep. 
We ball one. Ball was a little high. He was about a bunt, but decided to come back. It's almost what we saw at the bottom of the third inning. I'm gonna try to get Zena back on base. Base is loaded. Second, runner is safe at second. Catcher is throwing some signs out. I have some idea of what they want to do here. So you bunt. You know, bunts it down the middle. Throw to first. Runner is out at first for one out for the Owls. Runners on third and second. And up to bat for the Owls. It's going to be number one, Barnes. One out for the Owls. Pitch. Strike number one. Runners at second and third. Pitch that is down the middle. He liked that one. I thought that was a little high. Center field catches it. Runner running home. To be safe. And he is safe at home to put the L's at five, nine to four. Here we go. Dugout is celebrating them for that one. There we go. It's a great hit by Barnes. Next up is going to be number 12, McHugh, for the Keene State Owls. Spring still isn't letting up, but. These Pitch. players are not letting them, not letting it get to them for sure. Just strike number one, right down the middle. Yeah, the range is getting harder. I'd hate to be out there personally, but they are doing real good out there. That, that is, is right down the middle. Line drive right past. And around gonna, third. It's gonna be safe at home. Safe at home. Put the L's up ten to four. It's a great RBI. Runner safe at first. Two outs for the Owls. Next up for the Owls is going to be number 20, Lucas. Runner on first. The Owls are up 10 to 4 against the Roger William Hawks. Be a low ball there. Ball number one. This is ball number two for the Owls. Count 2 0. Two outs, run around first. The outside there, ball number three. Is ball number four. Lucas walks. Runners on first and second, two outs for the Owls. Next up is going to be number 10, Verano, for the Keene State Owls. The coach for the Hawks is coming out to the pitch. Maybe having a word with the pitcher, a change. I think he's been doing good, though. He's been strong. Speaking of doing good, Verano's been great at bat so far this game. Absolutely. 
Owls, contributing to a lot of our runs. Oh, absolutely. The Owls have shown hitting is going to be their strong suit this game. Pitcher will stay out. All right, here is Verano. Is a hit to the left. That is flying out center field. It is caught. Runner is out. It's going to be the last out for that inning. It's going to be bottom of the sixth. The score is 10 to 4 Owls. The State College Athletic Department and the Owls Media Network would like to thank our community partners, Bulldog Design, Get It Local, Get It Bulldog. CMW Services, an industry leader in facility service capabilities. And over at construction, we build relationships for life, celebrating over 50 years of service. The offices of Eli Thayer and Edward Jones. Keen Auto Body, your collision specialist since 1928. The Melanson Company, commercial and residential roofing since 1932. And the New Hampshire Army National Guard. Visit nationalguard.com slash New Hampshire. Seating for our VIP game today game day couch has been provided by family owned Frazier and Son Furniture. Visit their giant showroom on Route 32 in Swansea, one mile south of the Keene State Airport, or Keene Airport. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Let's turn this music on. We still dance. Yeah. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. All right, pay attention. Welcome to Fandom 101. We'll cover the tools of the trade from foam fingers in the wave to the super secret wave. How's that for a course description? Lesson one, your game starts long before the opening whistle, so arrive prepared. Two, if something piques your interest, raise your hand. And three, work in groups. NCAA championships, attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed.
still pitching for the Keen State Owl. Oh, we have a switch actually for the Keen State Owl. This is going to be number 14, David Floyd. And up to bat for Roger Williams, Fox. Am I okay? Up to bat for the Roger William Hawks is going to be number one, Camello. First pitch is a ball. A little lay there so we get some more dirt in the field. Ball number two. And my mic was a little high up before we had a switch for the pitcher. It's going to be number 14 for the Owls, David Floyd. Ball number three. That's yeah, 3-0. No outs. Strike number one right down the middle. Is a swing and a miss for strike number two to make it full count. We are in the top of the seventh inning. Score is still 10-4 apples. That is a foul ball hit behind. Still 3-2. Contact again, another foul. Oh, I announced the wrong player. It is number 10, Callie. Beginning of the lineup for the Hawks. Pitch is inside for ball number four. That's a walk. And up to bat for the Hawks is going to be number 27, Flynn. One batter at first base, or a runner at first base. It's a swing and a miss for strike one. High for ball number one. What was that? So it's low for ball number two. It was two one zero outs. Run around first. Swing, hit to the right. Got it. Runner out at first. Safe at second. There's one out for the Hawks. for ball number one. This 
pitch. It's low for ball number two. Foul ball for strike number two. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. We had another pitch. Yep. It might have actually Pitch. That is low for ball number three. Making it full count. It's a hit to the shortstop. All right, sir. The misses the ball. It's gonna be a run They're for safe the Safe at Hawks. home. And the deficit down to five, putting the L's up <coughs> ten to five. Next up for the Hawks is going to be number one, Camillo. Runner safe at first. <laughs> Hawks have one out. There's a bomb up to the right. First base is running. Looks like he has it. That is caught for out number two for the Hawks. <laughs> off the bat, number 17, Hibbard. That is low for a ball one. Low for ball number two. Inside for ball number three. Count three out with two outs. It is a hit to the right. Foul ball. Strike number one. Count is 3-1, two outs. One runner on base. Hawks are looking to close this gap between each other. A hit to the right, and it is caught by the right field. Three outs for the Hawks. Great defense this inning from the Owls. It is the end of the top of the seventh. The Owls are up 10-5. to five. to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. This is your ticket to the NCAA tournament. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports.
what's happening. Up to bat for the Owls is going to be number 11. There's a bunt, one to the left, so there's a foul ball, strike number one. They're at the bottom of the seventh inning. Owls are still up 10-5. Sorry for interrupting you there. Hey, okay. There's a few interruptions in this game, whether it's rain, fixing the field, <laughs> new pitcher. That's for sure. <laughs> and as that one hits low for ball number one. Be a low pitch there. Ball number two. Outside for ball number three. Count of three one. No outs. A hit to the left. That is a foul ball. Got a full count. Hit to the right. That is a foul ball. Number 11 keeping contact with that ball. So oh. Hit down the middle. Lop that one right into the plate. Centerfield catch it. Caught. Oh, looks like runner slipped Pally at first. Fell at first. Seems to be, seems to be okay. Walk that one off. Wonder what that happened there. This field, this field is something else. After a call on the field, the umps have decided to call the game, making the Owls the winners 10-5. to Make sure you join us back here in a few minutes for an interview with the coach and a player. So when I ask students why Keene State, the students say unanimously it's the sense of community. The feel when you walk on this campus is immediately a sense of belonging, a sense of safety, a sense of welcome, and a sense of opportunity and promise. And so I think our students feel that when they come to our campus and they experience it when they join us. Why students choose this campus is the sense and feel and also the opportunity and the promise of that opportunity for them when they're making the decision and why they stay is that we deliver on that promise. We have students from urban environments, from rural environments, and when they come to Keene State in those first weeks of forming a new community, they bring all of those experiences together to create a better Keene State. It's a campus small enough to feel a sense of recognition and identity and a campus big enough to feel part of something bigger than yourself. This isn't a passive experience, so please get engaged, find a club, 
make a new group of friends, get involved in a recreational sport activity, in an intramural sport, get involved in a creative performance, go see a show, be a part of this community and squeeze everything you can out of Keene State. And if you do that, I know, I am confident you will have an exceptional experience and your life will be changed as a result of it. A single thread is unique, like each of us, full of purpose and potential. A strand designed to connect, strengthen, and unite. But we face different challenges and have different opportunities. By acknowledging that others may struggle in ways we do not, we can celebrate our differences, embrace each other, and fortify the ties among us. A single thread can fray, yet when it's woven with another, a bond forms. A new strength created by the fabric of the whole. Let's embrace the fabric we make together, the diversity of our threads, to reach beyond ourselves and overcome the impossible. The true power of our game comes from unifying our individual backgrounds, connecting our unique stories, enabling us to be stronger, braver, greater. We can achieve so much more when we are all as one. What a season! The confetti is going to fall. There she goes, and she's got it! I worked in HVAC when I was in high school, and I really liked being on a job site. When Keene State came to my high school, the admissions counselor told me I could have a job on a job site and also make a difference on people's lives. He said being a safety engineer meant I could work with my hands, but also make sure that everybody was going to be home safely at the end of the day. The safety field is growing rapidly because companies are noticing that keeping their workers healthy means that they can keep their workers working. My plan is to graduate from Keene State so I can get back onto a job site as a safety engineer. It's great because there's jobs to choose from all over the United States, so I can basically go anywhere I want. Keene State is giving me the tools to make that happen.
All right, we are back with John. Great game. Thank you. What are we or what were our ideas about walking into the game with the Hawks being a 16 and 2 team? You know, they were a good team. Uh, played them last year. They put us very well. And I mean, we had bad weather, but that really didn't stop us today. We got on them early. They got out in front, and we battled back, and we kept that momentum going throughout the whole game. And as a team, all together, everybody had some sort of aspect of the game, whether that was playing in the field, helping in the dugout, helping uh, take care of the field so we can continue to play. All around, good team win. They're a good team, and that just helps us go in the direction that we want to be and get to where we want to be for the future. Absolutely. Um, I'm impressed as an understatement. You guys did great. Definitely showed some good agility throughout the field. Definitely hitting as well. You guys did great. Um, what are you looking forward to next game against UMass Boston? Uh, you know, we had uh, good games against UMass Boston last year. Ended up not, not in our favor, but more experienced team, we're rolling, we're playing together, playing as one family, and we just got to carry the momentum that we had in this game over that game and just continue to build off it. Absolutely. Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com, and whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. This is your ticket to the NCAA tournament. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. Welcome back, everyone. I am here with Coach Blood. Coach, weird game. I know a lot of rain, weather. You guys won 10-5. to 5. They were a really good team. How are you feeling after a game like that? Uh, I'm glad that we battled through the elements. You know, it was definitely, you know, the indoor sports, I joke with the coaches all the time because outdoor, especially on a dirt surface and grass, the weather just wreaks havoc sometimes, you know, and it feels oh, like yeah. every day we're looking to play a game. There's something going on where we have to adjust and look out for rain, look out for snow, move, play home games on the road, you know, so – to have the weather come into play, we take BP in the cages, their bus breaks down, so they're coming in late, uh, the rain's not really stopping, uh, so it's one of those days where as a player you're sitting around going, man, are we going to play, are we going to get this in, you're unsure, we, we put the tarp on, we put the tarp back off, um, but I thought that they handled all that very well, usually the teams that that can roll with those punches and, and deal with the variables are going to perform the best when the game starts. And, um, you know, despite giving them a couple early runs and not playing real sharp defensively, um, we responded with the bats and definitely uh, they're a good team, very good team. And I thought it, uh, that we out toughed them in uh, dealing with the weather and, and had some really good at bats and got some good pitching from Troy Brennan and Dylan Ellison, especially. Yeah, it's definitely for sure. I think for sure. You have a doubleheader conference against UMass Boston coming up. How do you feel about going into that game? Anything you want to work on after this game? Well, it's, it's an important series. Um, you know, they're one of the better teams in the league. And uh, last year, I think John said already, last year we played a couple of really competitive games against them. Uh, couldn't hold a lead, unfortunately. Lost a couple of late leads in both games. Um, so now this year, you know, I feel like we know what to expect from them. They know what to expect from us. And as always, the team that executes best and performs well the last three innings of the game is going to probably walk away with the wins. But it's very important for us to continue to play competitive baseball against good teams, teams that we want to you know, be like and, and be better than. Uh, and UMass Boston is definitely you know, one of the better programs. So it'll be a tough, a tough matchup, and, uh, but we certainly expect that we can play with them and beat them. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck against UMass Boston. Right. Thank you very much. Make sure you join us back here in a few moments for a wrap -up. All right, pay attention. Welcome to Fandom 101. We'll cover the tools of the trade from foam fingers in the wave to the super secret wave. How's that for a course description? Lesson one, your game starts long before the opening whistle, so arrive prepared. Two, if something piques your interest, raise your hand. And three, work in groups. NCAA championships, attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed.
All right, and that is going to end it for today, folks. We end the score with 10 to 5, Keen State Owls against Roger William Hawks. Make sure you join us back at home on Tuesday, April 16th, against Vermont State Castleton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.